Hello everyone, it's End Times Talk, and I wanted to come at you with a truly important video pertaining to World War III. This will be a little bit more of one of my more lengthy videos uh, that I've made, uh, but because it's going to be packed full of information, uh, connecting some dots uh, and whatnot. Um, I first off want to state before I start that there, in no way am I racist. I do not believe that one race is superior or inferior to one another. We all believe the same. God, I believe God created us all equal. Uh, and, and I want to state that before uh, I go on to read uh, this document. Uh, anyways, uh, this document was written by Albert Pike. And just to kind of give you a background of who Albert Pike was, Albert Pike was a 33rd degree Mason. He was a high-level occultist. He was a, mem a high-level member of the Illuminati, uh, actually one of its leaders in the, in the American branch of the Illuminati. He also ran the Southern Chapters of Freemasonry. He was a racist. Uh, and, and he also wrote the Freemasonic Bible, which is called Morals and Dogma, all right? And so uh, when when you have people that are in high levels of the occult, they, they worship this man. Uh, they worship his writings. They, they follow his writings to a T. And, and you're going to see how they've followed, uh, they've been following this document uh, known as the Three World Wars document to a T as well. Uh, there's a discrepancy that most people try to point out, but I'm going to show you how it's not a discrepancy. And uh, we're also going to go into some details and break some things down in this. But uh, uh, there's three three big paragraphs uh, uh, that pertain to the uh, World War III and, and what their agenda is for World War III. So I want to go ahead and read those now, and we're going to go for, through the first two and break a little bit down. Uh, and uh, for the World War I, uh, it says... the the First World War must be brought about in order to uh, permit the Illuminati to overthrow the powers of the Tsars in Russia and of making that country a fortress of atheistic communism, the divergences caused by the agents of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be used to foment this war. At the end of the war, communism will be built and used in order to destroy the other governments and in order to weaken the religions. So the whole objective for World War I was to start communism, okay, in, in, in order to uh, uh, destroy the smaller governments uh, and in order to weaken the religions, okay? So that, that's, that's literally what World War I was all about, and that all happened to a T, okay? Uh, let's get into World War II, and then we're going to see the discrepancy in here, supposedly, but I'm going to read a couple things to you right out of Wikipedia that, that just literally disproves that theory that there's a discrepancy within this. It says, The Second World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists. This war must be brought about so that Nazism is destroyed and that the political Zionism be strong enough to institute a sovereign state of Israel in Palestine. During the Second World War, international communism must become strong enough in order to balance Christendom which would be then restrained and held in check until the time when we would need it for the final social cataclysm. Now remember, these are Satanists and occultists writing this document, okay? This is their plan for the world. Doesn't mean it's going to happen exactly uh, 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 in the future uh, as to what they're writing, but it does uh, show that it, it's basically happened exactly as they've written out. Uh, I do know that... that uh, uh, in Ezekiel, I believe it's Ezekiel chapter 37, it talks about the Valley of the Dry Bones prophecy. And and uh, I believe this is a prophecy pertaining to the Second World War and the Holocaust, uh, the Jewish Holocaust, and uh, uh, how they, you know, even were, ba they were basically skeletons, okay? And and that's why they, uh, I, that's why I believe it was called the Valley of the Dry Bones prophecy. And, and, and out of that, God brought them out of that and brought them back into Israel. But just like with King Nebuchadnezzar was given a dream, just like God hardened Pharaoh's heart, God used the enemy to spite the enemy. See, the occultists thought that they were writing this out of their own free admission. No, God put it in their minds to bring about a sovereign state of Israel and Palestine. But it wouldn't have happened uh, if, if everybody wasn't working in sync on the earth. And God, uh, I, I believe once again, uh, uh, came against the mind of man, came against the heart of man, and caused them to bend to his will, okay? Because it was his will that Israel come back from the dead. And that's exactly what had happened in 1948 when Israel became a nation again, okay? 
Anyways, uh, I want to talk about political Zionism a little bit. Uh, here's another discrepancy that people point out is is that um, uh, that there's this ancient Jewish Jewish uh, people that are that are taking over the world and and it's all their fault and 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 it's actually it couldn't be further from the truth. It says even in Revelation chapter two verse nine and Revelation chapter three verse nine. It talks about those that say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. And that's exactly who the Illuminati are. They, they are German families, okay, that have taken on Jewish-sounding last names, okay, in order to be able to cause the Jews to take the fall for what they're doing. There's even a, a coded document known as the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. And in that document, uh, they make it and they write it out as if they are Jews, but they're actually high-level occult Satanist uh, uh, Illuminati, and, and, and they are using that as cover to, to distract people from who is truly responsible for this, and that's Satanism and, and Luciferianism and, and Illuminism, okay? Anyways, um, so, so like I said, uh, it, it brings up the word Nazism, Okay, in in this uh, paragraph, and so many people I've heard say, "Well, Nazism wasn't around in 1871, and that couldn't be further from the truth." Nazism even goes back to 1841, and let me read you right out of Wikipedia what it says. It says in 1841, the German economist Frederick List publishes, and I'm sorry, I don't speak German, Das National System der Politischen Economy, which means national system of political economy and and it, and it and it says that he's espousing the settlement farming and agricultural expansion eastward along with economic industrialization manipulated by the state and the establishment of a german dominated european economic sphere as part of the solution to germany's economic woes and that these are, and it says these are the predecessor ideas to nazi imperialism okay but also, in 1856, the French aristocrat and author Arthur de Gobineau publishes his, an essay on the inequality of the human races. And, and, and I want to state that I am not racist. I don't believe in racism. I believe God created all peoples equal. But I'm reading a document that needs to be made known. It says, in which he divides the human species into three races, black, white, and yellow. Arguing therein that racial distract or racial distinctions form a clear and natural genetic barrier of sorts, Gabinau wrote that racial mixing would lead to chaos. While not an anti-Semite, his work is often characterized as philo-Semitic, since he wrote positively about the Jews, but it is still considered an early manifestation of scientific racism. Historian Joachim Seifest, in his biography of Hitler, claims that Arthur de Gabinau's Negative views on race mixing influenced Hitler and thereby the ideology of Nazism. So this proves that Nazism was before 1871 when this document was written. Okay, the ideologies behind Nazism were there before Albert Pike wrote about them. Okay, so Albert Pike knew of Nazism, that it was forming and growing in the occult underground. Okay, but, but I uh, also want to talk about how Adolf Hitler had used the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion to fuel his anti-Semitic hatred, okay? And he even handed out this document in the schools and taught the children these documents, okay? And, and, and tried to say, look, the Jews are trying to take over the world uh, because when you read that document, the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion, most people don't know, it is a coded Illuminati document. That is exactly what it is, Okay. And so I wanted to address those supposed discrepancies that, and say that they're not discrepancies and that, that they're actual fact and, and they play into the, into the Second World War, the, how it was written out by Albert Pike. Now let's talk about the Third World War and, I, and I'm going to cover as much as I can of this. I might misspeak a little bit because there's a lot here to go over, but this is truly important uh, that, that people understand as much as they can of this. All right, so we're just going to read it, and then we're going to kind of go back through and break it down. Uh, and it says, the Third World War. The Third World War must be fermented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agents of the Illuminati, because the Illuminati are infiltrators. They go in and they infiltrate, okay? 
between the political Zionists, all right, the, the protocols of the learned dollars of Zion that we just talked about, and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other, okay? Now let me add here, I believe that that is pertaining to the prophecies of Ezekiel 38 and 39, the war of Gog and Magog, where uh, Russia has an evil thought, God puts a hook in Russia's jaw and draws them down, but also leads with these Muslim uh, 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 nations in a massive war against Israel to try to destroy her. So I believe that's what this is talking about here, that, that, that Ezekiel 38 and 39 is not far off. We're already seeing threats from Russia made against Israel pertaining to the Iron Dome technology being given over to, to the Ukraine because Iran is giving drone technology to Russia. So they say, well, if you're going to help, if the Iranians are going to help you, then we're going to help the Ukraine. So anyways, uh, let me keep on reading here uh, where they mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations once more divided on this issue because you're always going to have this, this split between those who are, you know, are side with the Muslims or those who side with the Jews, okay? And it will be, they will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economic exhaustion. I mean, that is, that is literally what's happening. People of the earth are being exhausted right now. It says right here, we shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, which is your Antifa types, okay? And it says, and we shall prov provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horrors will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism and the origins of savagery and of the most bloody turmoil. So uh, what we saw in the riots after uh, uh, the pandemic, I don't believe that had anything to do with race. OK, and, and I'm not going to go into names and things like that, but we all know supposedly why these riots started. These riots started because people were paid to riot by the state, all right? And I'm not talking uh, uh, just bald eagle country, but I'm talking the global state, okay? And, 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 and what we, the, the, I believe that was them allowing them to release their anger uh, from being pent up for a couple of years uh, in a lockdown. This was the rage of the mob uh, going unruly but if you listen to what those people were saying when they were rioting and you listen to their protests and stuff, it was clearly anti-Christian. It was anti-God. All right. Uh, it was it was pro LGBTQ. Uh, it was pro uh, uh, Antifa rhetoric. You know, it was radical. It's, it's the radicalization of America. All right. And, and let me go on to state. It says then everywhere. The citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization. Okay, now what they want is, and I'm, I'm just going to try to break this down in the first reading and then I'll read the whole thing afterwards. It's a bit easier for me. Uh, what they want is, is they want the, the people who believe in the second, all right, which is your uh, 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 conservatives and the right and the Christians, okay, that believe in the second. To rise up against these destroyers of civilization, the people who put nasty books in the schools of children, all right, in the libraries where children read, uh, the people who are are, are are radicalizing the children, okay, uh, destroying civilization, the, all the cancel culture, all this stuff. They want this fight between the left and the right, okay, but the people that play into that hand are literally playing into the satanic hand. Okay, because this is literally what it's talking about, that those worldwide minority of revolutionaries that are nihilists and atheists, and that is your Antifa types, okay, and other three-letter organizations, okay, I'm not going to say it on here because I'm not racist, okay, I believe all lives matter, all right, but, it, but they want the people of the world to rise up globally against this, it's not just bald eagle country, okay, but look at what's happening, you have literally in bald eagle country right now, over 125 attacks in one year alone upon the power grid, okay? Just recently, um, you had a, 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 a terror attack on the Las Vegas power plant by a, a man named Mohammed Mismaria, Mis I believe is how his name is, is, is said and pronounced, and, it, and, and that he smashed into a massive power transformer with his to Toyota truck, 
and 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 then even after that he he tried to burn it and he was siphoning gas out of the fuel tank to pour on electrical things i mean he was just mad with trying to destroy this this power uh uh transformer and it was a big one there in La in las vegas they're trying to keep that under wraps they don't want to talk about that on the news uh, uh from what i'm understanding anyways i believe there's a lot of things <sighs> leading up to this this chaos that's happening all right and it's the radicalization of the left it's the radicalization of america and and these people are literally trying to destroy civilization and they're, they're trying to to take out the power they're trying to take out the 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 fundamental uh uh morals of christianity out of the schools they they want to put nasty books in the schools they want the teachers teaching nasty sexual stuff in the schools I mean, it goes on and on and on what these people are doing. And it said, and, and, and I want to go on here and, and state this, uh, that it says, and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity. Uh, and so obviously these people are Satanists and they're going to look at things a bit differently than, than what a Christian would look at it. But it says, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal, but without, but without knowing where to render its adoration will receive the true light through the, the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer brought finally out into the public view. So, so uh, I think that we really started to see that with the Harry Potter movies. That was the beginning of it, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, play witchcraft, you know, the, the, just, the, just this uh, uh, tr transfer and transition into occultism, and, and more and more we're seeing Satanism come out of the woodworks. I mean, you got got shows like stranger things where they're literally promoting satanism okay they're 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 showing you what they're doing and what's happening spiritually behind the scenes and where a lot of this violence is coming from is coming from this 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 uh uh these people who have been radicalized and have been indoctrinated into satanism something they don't tell you about serial uh uh, uh people who commit serial crimes uh uh you know killings uh, they, they are, they're they've said like 90% of these people are Satanists. They don't put that out into the public view. They don't put that out in the news. They don't put that in the books and all that stuff. But these people have been indoctrinated. Okay. It takes demons to go and do this sort of stuff to go and, and attack a school or things like that. It's, it's horrible what's happening. And I rebuke it in Jesus name. All right. But let me finish on reading here. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the, at the exact same time. See, the reason they want to conquer atheism and Christianity because Christianity will stand against the Antichrist. But see, atheists won't believe in the Antichrist. So they, so they want all these atheists that don't believe in anything to be exterminated right along with the Christians. All right, and and they want to use the 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 people who believe in the second to 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 believe they're doing God's work and standing up against this evil, which you know, in a way, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. That's not for me to say. I'm not God. I'm not going to judge anybody, but I believe that they are trying to use them to attack. But then once you commit that sin of of murder, uh, regardless of whether it's for the right or the wrong. It, it changes a man. It changes a person. Okay, and and that's where they're saying that that they're gonna not know where to to uh, uh, that they'll be without compass or direction. Okay, after they've done such a thing. All right, and that's where they're gonna try to come in with a manipulative Luciferianism and try to trick the world. Oh, you, you know, it's okay that you did this. We forgive you. Blah blah blah. That's how they're gonna do it. I'm telling you, folks. I'm telling you. But anyways, um. You know, I want to I want to speak upon the the whole Ezekiel thirty and thirty nine uh, war of Gog and Magog, okay? Uh, but uh, you know, they want the this this war between the Muslim Arabic world and they want in 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 the state of Israel, and in it, it, the Bible it talks about how, you know, and I, this is in translation, but uh, I'm just telling you the translation of it. But they're gonna they want Russia to come down from the north and all these muslim armies come with them in a huge campaign to try to destroy israel that's literally what's in in this third world war writing of the occultists uh from albert pike that they're that they're trying to follow to a t 
but God's not going to allow Israel to be destroyed. Okay, because Israel is a, is a, is the epicenter of the end times. All right, God is going to turn His face back to Israel in the end times. Okay, so they're not going to be destroyed. God's going to destroy those armies. Okay, um, something I want to mention. Uh, 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 two things I want to mention, and and they kind of play into this whole situation. I believe that that the Russia Ukraine war is a distraction from what's really happening in the Muslim Arabic world and in the state of Israel. See, they're already fighting, right? They have been for the past couple of years, attack after attack, attack after attack. Uh, these small stabbings and shootings and bombings, there, there's hundreds of them that have been happening. Even just this last year, hundreds of them that have been happening. They're not in the news. They're not telling you in the news. They don't want you to know in the news because they want to keep you distracted with the Russia-Ukraine war. Now, let me tell you why they're keeping you distracted with the Russian and Ukraine war and the reason for the Russian and Ukraine war. All right. They want to keep you distracted from the Muslim Arabic world. You know, these these Muslim uh, uh, countries that want in, in Israel that are fighting because they don't want you to know uh, what's happening. They want to keep you out of the loop. All right. But they also are using this Russia Ukraine war to reestablish borders that need to be reestablished for the 10 kingdoms for the Antichrist. Now, I've stated this before, and I'll state it again. I have a friend who is ex-Illuminati named Joseph Marquis, and, and we talked a lot on the phone. I'm just being flat out honest with you. I'm just leveling with you here. We talked a lot on the phone. We were very good friends for probably about seven years, okay? He taught me a lot of different stuff. I had a lot of time to spend with him on the phone, uh, and, and, and he uh, did a lot of awesome things uh, for the body of Christ, okay? And he kept, he kept the body of Christ out of deception quite a bit. People that, that, that literally, you know, listen to what the man had to say, gave him a chance, gave him a platform. But he told me that, you know, he was raised in the Illuminati family, the Marquis. But he, and excuse my language here, he said, but he was one of the bastard children of one of the Rothschilds. Okay, so the Marquis kind of kept him and brought him up in the ways of the Illuminati. Okay, but when he was a young adult, he was told to infiltrate the army. All right. He was sent to Fort Lewis, the, the, the military base there in Washington state. All right. And and but he said at this base, he said a Christian had witnessed to him and asked him to go to church. And he said, you know, in so many words that he said no, uh, that, that weren't very kind words. But he said that after that, he said that Christians, he says, just kept coming out of the woodworks, witnessing to him. And he said he finally understood what he was doing in light of what the Christians were saying. And he said he finally understood what the Bible was saying. And he finally understood what Jesus wanted from him. And he gave his life to Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. A few years back, a couple years before the pandemic, I believe they poisoned him. Okay. Uh, they finally got him. But he had many attempts on his life. They, they hit him with a car. They've shot at him. I mean, over and over again, the man had attempts on his life for revealing the secrets of what the Illuminati was doing. And let me tell you what he said in one of our final phone conversations that we had had. I had asked him, Doc, what's next on the Illuminati's to-do list? What are they going to do next? He said two things. And the, the, the quickest one I can say is, is that they want to establish a digital currency, is what he said. He said a digital currency will come next. But he said there will be a war between Russia and the Ukraine, but also Poland. And I'm telling you, watch for Poland to get involved. I have an earlier video where I talked about this, about how Russia is it, it will continue this war with Ukraine and that they're going to invade Poland as well, but that eventually Poland and the Ukraine will be absorbed into Russian territory. You can already see this starting to happen with Russia absorbing the Donbass region, uh, these, these, these uh, uh, pro-Russian sectors of the Ukraine that have been absorbed into Russia. They already took them. They already took them. And so what I'm trying to say is, is he said the reason for these wars that are happening uh, the Russia-Ukraine and Poland war eventually uh, will be because they're reestablishing the borders for a 10-kingdom government for the Antichrist to take over. He said they already have the world divided into 10 kingdoms, and it, there's already an Illuminati map. He showed me the map, okay? Uh, it's very close to the Club of Rome map that you can look up, the 10-nation Club of Rome map. Look that up, all right? But they have they have divided the world into 10 kingdoms already, okay? And those countries that are bigger have to absorb those smaller areas, okay? Uh, eventually, you're going to see Dragon Country invade Taiwan because that's part of them absorbing that sector. You see what I'm saying? They have to absorb that. That's why it's being talked about. 
the ten kings have to be put into place before the Antichrist can arise. It says in the book of Daniel that there were ten horns, and then a little horn came up out of the midst of those, speaking great and blasphemous things. An eleventh horn is what it says. Okay, so there's going to be ten kings in place, and then out of those ten kings, out of the middle of that, one's going to arise, and that's going to be the Antichrist. All right, I'm not going to get into how I believe that the Antichrist is more than likely going to be a Muslim, but he's but he, he's for sure either a Muslim or a Jew, all right, flat out, okay? But what I will tell you is, is that this Russia-Ukraine war is a distraction meant to keep you busy so that way you don't see what's happening in Israel. They want this stuff to go basically uh, under wraps, you know, uh, with, with uh, unseen. They want it to be unseen. But all of a sudden, you're going to see this massive army rise up against Israel. You're not going to see how it led to it, but you're going to see this massive army all of a sudden come against Israel to destroy her. And even in this document, uh, uh, they talk about it. So I, I feel like this kind of suffices for the information today uh, for to give you guys, to tell you that, that we are already in the beginnings of World War III. It is already beginning, folks. And, and the time is short that we have on this earth. Jesus is coming soon for his bride. Stay close to Jesus. Let go of your sin. Cast your sin to the ground. Stomp on it. Have nothing to do with it. All the things, all the addictions, all the hate, all the anger, all the unforgiveness. Let it go and put it at the foot of the cross, people. Because we're going to be going home soon. All these signs are leading to that, you know. Uh, uh, but but we have to do our part, and we have to witness to the people around us, and 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 we have to teach people, and we have to love people, and we got to keep on keeping on until our Lord Jesus Christ comes for His bride. But He's coming for a spotless bride, so we need to be repentant. All right, we're not saved by works, but works or faith without works is dead. Okay, so we have to be showing who we are to the world that we are Christians, and we got to stand up for what we believe in. So thank you for watching this, and I appreciate you, for all of you who have stuck to the end of this. It's, a, it's my longest video yet, but I'm so glad that I can actually get this all out in not short little segments like when I had a cell phone before. All of those that donated uh, to make this uh, computer possible, and the microphone possible, and the printer possible, I appreciate you guys so much. You know, it, this makes things so much easier on me, and it, and, it, and, it, and it enables me to have teachings out there like this that are up to almost a half an hour long. So may God bless you and may God keep you. Thanks for watching.